In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up OBS Studio settings for OBS Studio for video recording and for your streaming if you are ever going to stream. When you have opened your OBS just by clicking on icon whether it's on your desktop or here on this task manager click on it and it will open up OBS and click on settings. In settings first tab which will, which will be here active on the left hand side is general and as you see my seam is dark you can change it to default it, it is kind of white seam but I don't like white so I'm using dark seam. All it does it just changes seam's color and other things are not really important here on this general. The next one is stream and stream is if you are ever going to stream it is allowing you to set up streaming server which from you are going to stream or where you are going to stream and as you see if I would want to stream on Twitch I would select here Twitch and here I can check uh, servers which are closest to your area where you live you just click check that server if you are going to, to stream on YouTube you just click this and then on, I will I will have a specific video for YouTube streaming where I will show you how you can set up your YouTube settings and how you can get this stream key from YouTube. Here you add stream key which you don't show to anyone else. Next thing is output. Here are two areas. One is stream, second one is recording and stream is for streaming and this bitrate it's very important. It means how good quality of your stream is but you can put two high quality of these two high bit rates if you have a low internet speed and this is one of areas where many people having problems who are streaming for example if your internet speed is very slow it means upload speeds are very slow you can't really use 2500 you will have to go to 1000 or 1500 to check your internet speed you open google type in in address bar speedtest.net go to speedtest.net and i will check now my internet speed begin test and i will explain you in a second what is happening here one millisecond and i have very powerful upload and download speeds actually you see my download speed is 192 megabits per second speed and for streaming this is important second one which is upload speed because you will be streaming from your computer to another server 21.66 megabits per second if I have this speed I can freely leave this bitrate at 2500 but if you have less than 10 megabits per second then put about 1000 there in this video bitrate otherwise your video will be lagging. Next is encoder. I usually use this software encoder because I don't have any other option. I have hardware QSV. I am using this software encoder and audio bitrate you use 160 and don't go higher if you are going for streaming. In streaming the most important thing is this video bitrate. If it will be too high and your internet speed will not be able to handle it you will not be able to stream. Your streaming will be lagging. Play around and check your internet speed first then you can go for two and a half thousand up to three and a half thousand I can easily use three and a half thousand bitrate and my streams will be in high quality and this is responsible for quality of your stream so recording is video recording if you are recording for YouTube like I'm now recording for YouTube but I'm using Bandicam for recording not recording at this time by using open broadcast software these are settings for your video same as stream if you are recording high quality I always when I'm recording locally and not streaming I'm putting this recording format high quality here is warning straight away recording with the software encoder at a different quality than the stream will require extra CPU if you have a high CPU or very good CPU and I have actually 4 gigahertz default CPU so it won't affect really me but if you don't have strong CPU then don't put high quality if you are streaming and recording at the same time if you just recording then high quality is okay for recording locally next one is recording for format which is in what format you want to save your videos I am saving always in mp4 recording pass this is where you want to save your videos and I can browse it for example I want to save it on desktop and 
click, click select folder and from now on all my videos which I will be recording with this OBS studio will be automatically saved on my desktop. You can change this path where you want to save your videos. And next thing is audio. And audio is what audio you are going to use. My default audio device is microphone Yeti, micro stereo microphone video format base canvas resolution. This is your screen which you are going to record as I am using 1920 then I, I put it here 1920 by 1080 and here are frames per second what you are recording this video at you can use 30 or 60 hotkeys are pretty much here you can read what hotkeys you can add so you can click them on your keyboard and activate some functionalities which you can see here on the left hand side of these fields. If you add a hotkey, that hotkey will be added and you will be able to perform this action by clicking it on your keyboard and advanced. Here you don't change anything in advanced field. I don't, I never really change anything here in this in advanced tab. I don't, I have no need really to change anything here. After you have done your changes, click at the bottom apply and hit OK. Your changes will be saved. Now I will show you how you can record your screen. You have to set scenes and scenes are different collections of different layer sources. See here is scene and for example we could create a scene and call it screen for example and to do this you see plus signs at scenes and you plus plus signs at sources click on plus sign click change name to screen and click ok and that will be your screen let's remove this scene just by clicking on it and clicking this minus sign and it will remove ask you if you want to remove it you say yes and you will have this screen scene only and to add screen itself we go into this sources tab and we click plus sign when this screen is activated you click plus sign and you are adding to this scene whatever you want from this tab and in this tab screen is display capture click display capture and you could say display your screen one screen one and hit ok as you see this screen is now activated it's a little bit confusing at the moment but this is what it what happened you can see that screen now there if you don't see screen i have other screen because currently i'm using two screens and to switch to another screen i will click on this second one and you will see my other screen now you are seeing my other screen where i have the recorder which i'm using for recording this video if you have three screens and here in this drop down menu there will be third one let's click back so you can see the screen and click ok and if you would want to record for example now you click start recording and now it is recording and if we drag it around drag it around and once you have recorded you click stop recording then we go to desktop and we can find this video here and if i click on it you see we have recorded a small video and it has been saved here on my desktop this is how you record video how you set up your obs studio